couple of weeks ago, I said, give me a break. They said, America first. That could be racist. I said, racist? Racist? Why is that racist? Here we are. I, I think, does everybody in this room agree? You're living in America. America first, right? Yeah. Here. USA! 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 That is really beautiful. I shall want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakakwadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Nailstone. Much due honors and respect to the sincere brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, I want to say Shalom. To the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Aquas, which will be brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So, yeah, the overtone of this sitting right here, if you will, is going to be centered around departing from this place of America, all right, which have proven to be a noose, <laughs> if you will, for our people, no pun intended, man, which apparently you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there are the last ones who have gotten that memo if you will, you know, the fact that the very place, America, that you cleave to actually produces your arch enemies, man, the so-called white man, which this doesn't require any in-depth analysis or extensive research to come to this conclusion. It's well documented, you know, the disdain that the so-called white man has for you, which the scriptures have framed as a perpetual hatred. When you go into that word perpetual, it literally translates to forever, man, all right? A long duration, meaning you can't rehabilitate this man, you know, in his outlook towards Jake. See that? Furthermore, this place, America, and the system that's in play here was set up to keep you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in further derision. Everything here in America was set up to vex you, man, all right, and, and to keep you further oppressed. See that? And pretty much any of you outside of this truth is not going to be able to digest that concept. See that? Not only the ones that you saw in the opening clip, which will be considered obviously sellouts, if you will, but even the most extreme activists out there amongst Jake, <laughs> you know, those of you amongst our people who push this idea of separating from the so-called white man by building your own schools and communities and, you know, uh, banks or what have you. Well, guess what, man? They visions are centered around America. <laughs> you know, they want to build schools right here in America. They want to build their own community right here in America. They want their own land right here in America. So technically, you're all in the same boat, you know? Not only the uh, ones you saw in the opening clip, which that was a testament of the dysfunction of Jake right there, because those who you heard the faint cries of USA, 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 well, they are full aware of this place, America, USA, being the place where their ancestors was hung, you know, lynched, all right, uh, uh, raped, robbed, you see? They're aware of that, man. Yet, when you fast forward to today, they, they chanting USA. They support the idea of America, you know, becoming great again. See that? And proving that they trust in America, they trust in oppression. Matter of fact, let's start off with that right here in the book of Isaiah, the 30th chapter, and starting at the eighth verse, it says, Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book. Yeah, and this book right here would be symbolic to the Holy Scriptures, the very book that we read from to this day. See, that it may be for the time to come, again, which is concerning the time that we're in right now, forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, which translates to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, all right? The Lord have deemed you a rebellious people, a stiff-necked people, man. And this is the legacy of the children of Israel. Whenever the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is presented to you, you resist the spirit, and you see that to this very day. You know, in the spirit, me and the brothers, we were streaming live last night where we was touching on the celebrities amongst Israel which, by the way, would be considered the leaders amongst Israel. You know, any of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there who have somewhat of a voice, an opinion, a platform, if you will, to spew your madness, 
where you contribute to, you know, the Israelite out there straying. You know, because our people are very impressionable people, man. You know? So you have these different celebrities, which in the case of the live stream, we was touching on this guy Killer Mike, and, you know, as well as T.I., which he, in his attempts to quell the drama that was going on out there in Atlanta, he was encouraging the locals to not vandalize out there because Atlanta would be considered Wakanda, man. Okay, this the same guy who if and when came across this truth because, hey, whether you know it or not, the majority of these celebrities out there, they've been exposed to the truth. Yet they would deem us in, in this doctrine as being fabrication, you know? Or oh, these guys crazy, you know, or this is a figment of your imagination. Yet, in the same breath, he entertaining the idea of Atlanta being Wakanda. So that proves that our people are gone, man. And this actually contributes to that rebellion. See, again, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. And again, that proves that amongst these celebrities and any of you Jakes out there who have the mental capacity to get online and research, guess what? You have come across this truth, man, but you would not hear it. See? Verse 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things. Yeah, and, and what's some of those right things? The fact that the so-called white man is the devil. You know, you should attach from this place America, which is geared to please the flesh, man, and the luxuries that come along with it. In fact, this place is going to be destroyed, and you should be looking forward to the world to come, the kingdom of heaven, wherein righteousness would dwell. But guess what? Our people, they don't want to hear that. They don't want no pause to that. See? It says, speak unto a smooth things, prophesy deceits. And this is why Christianity is such a big booming business, man. Because it accommodates the lust of our people. They want to hear smooth things. See that? Verse 11, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Meaning they don't want to hear this knowledge. You know, if they had it their way, Man, we would be put to death or locked away because what we bring is the spirit of restrictions, man. You know, it's almost like if someone having a party and the cops show up and said, break it up. Well, that's what we're doing. We sent here to break up the party, man. And Jake don't want that, man. See? Verse 12, wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, see? Ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. And that's what you're seeing in the opening clip, a form of our people trusting in oppression. And again, that's not only reserved to, to who you saw in the opening clip. This actually applies to these hardcore extremists, man. You activists out there, some nigga with a kufi on, man, you know, that push out the idea of separating from Esau by, you know, creating your own banking system, your own schools, you know, your own land. But that vision is centered around America, meaning you can't see past America, man. Ultimately meaning you trust in oppression. <laughs> see, again, it says, Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word, and trust in oppression, see, and perverseness, and stay thereon, meaning what? You are not willing to break off from America, no matter how much you present this idea, you know, of being an activist or you know, protesting against America and the ill dealings and the treacherous acts of the so-called white man. You know, you march, you lock arms, you got picket signs. But it's all centered around you You uh, stand here in America, man. You know, like this guy, uh, T.I., said we are going to be treated right in the cities of Detroit and in New York and L.A. and Atlanta. No, man, how about detaching from this place, man? You know, how about being freed from under the foot of your oppressors? See that? Which this is what the true powers of all heavens and earth requires of you. Which brings me to the book of Micah, the second chapter, in the 10th verse. It says, Arise ye and depart. See? Arise ye and depart. It didn't say become acclimated, man, or learn how to coexist with your enemy. No, it says depart. See? Arise ye and depart. But this is not your rest. Yeah, it's not meant for you to settle here in America. All right? You got Jake out there who have visions of, you know, working until they're able to uh, retire 
and set up a soft landing for their kids and their kids after that. That's not what your how about you, how shall requires of you, man. You know? And again, this is not going to be an idea or a concept easily digested by our people. See? Because they have grown somewhat attached to this place. They have developed what's known as Stockholm Syndrome. You know, where the ones who are being oppressed develop a certain sympathy for their oppressor, man. See that? Again, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, see? Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So that's the penalty for not coming out of America. See that? Which when you go into the definition for this word, depart, the scripture says, Arise ye and depart. The Hebrew word that would be yalak. Yalak. Alright? And it says to walk. Come. Alright? To go. Walk. Come. Yeah, we are to come out of this place, America. You know? As it is written in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, around the fourth verse. Come out of my people. Now, does this mean we are physically to leave this place and retreat to another part of the world to settle? You know, somewhere else outside of America. No, this is mentally. We are to develop a certain outlook, man. Contrary to what's on display here in America. And it tells you that in the book of Romans, the 12th chapter, in the second verse. To be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Matter of fact, let me grab a quick precept and we'll go back to these definitions found in the book of our second Ezra. The second chapter starting at the 36th verse it says flee the shadow of this world see which that shadow again is symbolic to the misinformation and disinformation that's on display see that you ought to flee that see flee the shadow of this world receive the joyfulness of your glory yeah and what's the joyfulness of your glory this truth you know you ought to flee whatever is being presented to you and pitched to you here in America you ought to flee that you know and, and, and receive the joyfulness of your glory. Matter of fact, let me grab something real quick and we'll go back to the book of James, the first chapter, in the 21st verse. It says, Wherefore lay apart, see, <laughs> which goes hand in hand with departing, see, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive, see, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. See that? So when you go back here to 2 Ezra, the second chapter, and again, starting at the 36th verse. Flee the shadow of this world and receive, see, the joyfulness of your glory, which is this truth, man. See, which brings life. See? Versus uh, the shadow of this world, which brings death. That's why America is known as the valley of the shadow of death, see? It says, I testify my Savior openly, see? Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, see? giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom, which is this knowledge, man. See? Verse 38, arise up, see, and stand. And we just read in the book of Micah, the second chapter in the 10th verse, arise ye and depart, see? Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed, <laughs> see, which are departed, from the shadow of the world. You see that? Let's read this again. Which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Yeah, and those glorious garments is symbolic to this knowledge, man, which is going to cover you, you know, in the day when all hell break loose, man, when the Lord pour out his wrath, you know, and bring forth his vengeance, man, okay? When the fury of the Lord rests on the planet Earth, those who have received this truth, you know, wholeheartedly is going to be covered. That's why, again, this truth is known as garments, see? So when you go back to these definitions here for the word depart, one definition jumps out to me for this word depart, because the scriptures say, arise ye and depart from this place, see? It says to go, walk, come, depart, proceed, move, go away, all right? It says to die, <laughs> see that? To die, all right? Which our Lord, Yahweh Shah, echoed that same sentiment. And that's found right here in the book of Matthew, the 16th chapter, and the 25th verse. It says, for whosoever will save his life 
shall lose it. Yeah, and again, an example of that is this guy Killer Mike, <laughs> you know, and T.I., who was campaigning, you know, and urging the locals over there in Atlanta to not vandalize the city. Why? Because they don't want to see America destroyed, man. This is where their dreams and aspirations lie, you know? So in a roundabout way, they're seeking to save their life. Again, it says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But it goes on to say, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it, which is a direct parallel to the word die, which is found in the definition for depart, man. So when the scriptures say, arise ye and depart, you know, for this is not your rest, it pretty much means to die, you know, meaning your dreams and aspirations have to die right here in America. You know, if you had desires of being the next LeBron James or the next big rap artist, you know, or entertainer, whatever you subscribe to before you was exposed to the truth, they have to die right here in America. See that? Why? Because this is not your rest. And it never fails, man. Whenever you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans get too comfortable, the so-called white man reminds you that he's your enemy. And what happens? You lock arms, you march, you protest, and the rallying cry is equality, <laughs> which translates to coexisting, you know? You, you want to uh, coexist right here in America when the desire should be to be uh, delivered from this place, man. You see? Delivered from under the oppression that the so-called white man has bestowed upon you. See? And this is where this truth comes in. You know, this gospel. The kingdom of heaven being preached. Why? Because it develops a certain outlook where we are looking forward to the world to come. You know, versus being acclimated to this place of miracles. So yeah, I just want to touch on that. Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next time I say, Shalom.